Watch him, buddy. Remember one thing, I'm not obligated to do this step in because what happens is, is that I walk myself right into the and we'll go, we'll, we'll go over all that stuff. And what his whole, just so you guys understand, uh, Wilson, is that on? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just so you guys understand what the person on the bottom wants, is he wants to reach up and grab my collar even deeper. And he wants to pull my head down below my hips right here. You see, here he can very easily begin to slightly hoist me up and he can take me over on my shoulder as he keeps up and even for something basic as a daily even sweep. And, and all, this is it all day long. I gotta make sure I don't get caught up in that, okay? So from here, I know some of you are saying, well, what if the knees are narrow, okay? Remember, when I'm on top and I'm passing, I want to fold them like a fetus. Yeah. He needs to be like a triangular sphere. Yeah. See how I wide out? And I go this way. And then I control the hip. Okay. On the rare occasion, I'm, on, I'm down on both knees, but it's because I'm here and I'm pressuring him. Okay. I know he's not going to roll away and I know he's not going to roll back into me. Okay. But from this position here, I'm gonna focus on the underhook here as I begin to control that shoulder. Now what I want you guys to do and understand is this. This right here doesn't do anything because he can put his back flat on the, sh on the mat. Okay. I wanna take the contour of my neck and put on the contour of his shoulder. I don't wanna poke him with my chin. Okay. I'm gonna be here. Okay. Pulling either here, controlling his shoulder, pulling his bottom shoulder, and rolling with my chest, his top shoulder. He'll probably put his hand out right there, stop. And then I go perpendicular that way as my left hand fishes for that collar, okay? I'm gonna loosen it up a bit here, because from here, look what you have. You have the collar, his hand's preoccupied, otherwise he'll roll to his stomach. I can even grab right here, I can torque it out, and I can proceed to take his back right here, okay? Just here, and hook it in. But for now, all I'm gonna do is get that, what we call the one B choke, okay? Hands on this shoulder, I'm pulling it in, and I'm driving this shoulder over, okay? My head dips to the left, I even use my right hand. Reach here, okay? From here, I get good control, because <laughs> it's position before submission, my right knee, Frames his back, my left foot postures up here. Because what I want to do is, is I want to pick his elbow up and I want to take this hand and drive it all the way to the mat as I tilt my head to the right. I'm not doing this, okay? I am framing with the right and tilting to the right. Framing with the right hand, tilt to the left, okay? So, I got it. Here, his elbows are in, let's say. I want, to, I want to make sure that this hand gets the underhook here. And I'm constantly pushing. If I'm too high, I'll be set back and keep pushing. Pushing this hand right here. Feeds this collar right here. And I go to the top from here. Bring my knee in his back, okay? Post my left foot up, and I'm gonna lift my right hand up to separate his elbow as the right hand goes down and I tilt to the left and now my left foot pushes me to the right. Okay, so I'm not doing this. I'm pushing and my right hand is pointed to the mat and I tilt this way. Okay, so from here remember, you also have bow and arrows and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so let's try that. One, two, three. If you got questions, no. You're just gonna now start with your partner facing away.